Hello guys and welcome to Python Programming Tutorials by Amuls Academy. Today in this tutorial we are discussing about how to write programs to get output like this. That is we want to print stars in the pyramid shape or triangle shape. Okay this is the code to print stars in the pyramid shape. Here first we are asking the user to enter the number of rows. That is for example here we can see this star pyramid contains four rows that is one two three and four right so here num value is four so here we are asking the user to first enter the number of rows after that we can see the for loop and here i is a variable and this for loop is for rows okay and here we can see the range function zero to num suppose if we enter number of rows is four then range function is for 0 to 4 then it will give the output as 0 1 and 2 and 3 i is equal to 0 for this row 1 is for this row 2 is for this row and 3 is for this row okay next in the column that is here we can see space and star that is in some places we need to print space and in some places we need to print star okay so here we are using two for loops that is the first for loop to print space and the second for loop is to print star and here we can see in the first for loop j is a variable and range is from 0 to num minus i minus 1 here we can see num value is 4 right and here we can see the three space here after that we can see the star here num value is 4 and i value is 0 and minus 1 that will give 3 so here this statement will print thrice so here we can see three space here i value is 1 so 4 minus 1 minus 1 so it will give 2 so we can see two space here i value is 2 so 4 minus 2 minus 1 so answer is 1 so here we can see the 1 space now after executing this statement thrice control goes to the next for loop and here we can see the range from 0 to i plus 1 initially i value will be 0 so 0 to 1 that means it will give the value as 0 so it will execute once so in the first line we can see the single star next it will come out of this loop and it will print this statement that means control goes to the next line okay this is about the code here first we are asking the user to enter the number of rows then this for loop is for rows that is 0 to num in the main for loop we can see two for loops that is one is for to print space and another is to print star now we'll run this program okay i'll enter number of rows is 5 and here we can see the pyramid okay now we'll see how this code will work first we are asking the user to enter the number of rows for example we will take num values 4 now so control goes to this for loop i is a variable here range 0 to num will give four values okay that is 0 1 2 3 fine and next it will go to the jth loop and here range is from 0 to num minus i minus 1 actually num value was 4 and here i value is 0 so 4 minus 0 minus 1 so it will give 3 so here range is from 0 to 3 so it will give the answer as 0 1 and 2 right so first j value will be 0 1 2 so here it will print space and again the control goes to the for loop now j value will be 1 and again this print statement will execute so again space again the control goes to the jth loop now j value is 2 so again it will print space now control is here now control comes out of this loop and it will go to the next for loop where range is from 0 to i plus 1 so i value is 0 so 0 to 1 
that means it will give value as 0 so here j value will be 0 so it will go to the print statement and it will print star here but here range gives only one value it is already executed so it will come out of this loop and it will go to the next statement that is print statement so control goes to the next line here okay next again it go to the main for loop and now i value will be one so again control comes to this first for loop and range is from zero to num minus i minus one num value was four i value is one now minus one so it will give two okay so here range is from zero to two that means zero and one so it will print two space here okay after executing this for loop it will comes to the next for loop and it will print star here 0 to i plus 1 that means i value is 1 so 0 to 2 so it will give value as 0 and 1 and so first print star so it will print here here end is space so here we can see the space and again control goes to this for loop now this j value will be 1 and it will print this star and control is here now then control come out of this loop and it will print print statement so control comes here here in this code if you change here i change this to two star i plus one and i'll save this and run this and i'll enter five here we can see the star pyramid here we can see single star three star five star seven and nine here we can see the odd number of stars to do that we need to change here and we can print this star pyramid using single for loop also that is here we can see the function pyramid and it will take the parameter as rows and inside the function we can see the for loop and i is the variable and range is from rows that means it will take zero to rows and here we can see the print statement that is it will print space this much time and it will print star this time that is this multiplication symbol is a repeater and this here plus symbol is a concatenation symbol okay so if you run this code and here I'll call the function pyramid and I'll pass the parameter as 5 enter and we can see the pyramid and this code is similar to the previous one but here instead of for loops we are using print statement okay here if you want you can change this to two star okay now i'll save this and run this i'll call the function pyramid i'll pass as four and here we can see the output this is the odd number of stars okay that's it for now thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe my channel i'll meet you in next class till then take care